and welcome back to another short news video for Final Fantasy XIV, this time a brand new lodestone page that's yet to be posted in English at the time of recording this morning. However, this will be up as English version on our lodestone very, very soon. And this is to announce the rising 2020 with this wonderful looking artwork there. We have Dalamud in the left there looking ominous with this cloud of just, I don't know, what should we call that? Anger? I don't know. I don't know what they're going for there. It just looks very ominous in the sky. We have Nanamo. We have the Black Mages there. We, you, you, you don't need me to explain what's happening here. So this is the new Rising event. This will be taking place on August the 27th, 2020 until September the 14th, which is a Monday. So a Thursday to a Monday. And this one looks to be quite interesting. It says New Year Festival and a Young Man. Well, obviously, this is badly translated. But essentially, the quest will be starting in Uldar Steps of Nold, just outside from the, uh, the actual uh, Aetherite, uh, just to the left a little bit at X 10.3, Y 8.3. And uh, essentially, this will be available to everybody level 15 and above. Uh, so I think the only thing you're going to need to do is have the, it's probably Pirate's Quest completed, so you can actually access the rest of the world if you're not actually starting in Uldar. The rewards then, the most important thing, are actually a wind-up Ardbert minion, as you can see here, um, used to acquire this minion, yep, yeah. and also uh, this, this is the, the glass painting, it says New Year glass painting, but that's badly translated, this is the glass painting, which is, um, well, yeah, it, it's basically the artwork from the event now with Nanamo, it looks quite big, actually, doesn't it? I mean, these are the fountains they've used for scale and reference. These are the new sort of, like, um, ribbon pillar things. What do you call these? Uh, ribbon guards? You have these at, like, museums. So you can make your own galleries or whatever. Um, it's quite a big painting, actually. I quite like the look of that. The Ardbit minion, though, does appear to have his axe there. What a wonderful thing to have. I thought we might get one of these from, you know, the end of... Shadowbringers itself, but it seems that we're getting one from the Rising event, and that's pretty much everything um, that's here. They do say that some of the previous event items from the Rising event will be obtainable from the Mog Station, so um, stay tuned for that. We'll do videos on this stuff when it goes live. I just thought I'd share this with you. It's nice to be able to get a new minion, and this art piece looks pretty good. Let me know what you think about this. Again, this will be taking place on August the 27th until September the 14th. I said there was lots of events on the horizon, and I certainly was not kidding. Uh, and this is just yet another one to get uh, looking for to be looking forward to, at least. Um, yeah, I'm quite interested. I really want to see what connotations the storyline itself has. Obviously, the rewards. I mean, if you don't like minions and you don't have a house, then you're not going to really have much fun with this. But me personally, I'm all for this. And um, yeah, another minion to the collection. And such a good one as well will be a nice sort of memoir to keep, especially after playing through Shadowbringers. I think you will agree. Anyway, let me know what you think about those rewards, whether you're hyped for Rising 2020, what you expect will probably happen in this storyline. And I'll see you all next time.